Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Beast Mysteries. When we usually think of the government and Bigfoot and reasons as to why the government would want to withhold information on Bigfoot or Sasquatch, we usually think of things like the logging industry or oil and gas or things of that nature. If Sasquatch is discovered and proven to be a reality, it would put a halt on a lot of operations that are going on out in the wilderness areas in North America and in various other parts of the world as well, um, where these things are also seen. There would need to be habitat set aside for them. And when you think of that sort of stuff, you're kind of putting them in the category of an animal. You know, it, it belongs in the category of conservation in the same way like a, a bear would be in that category or any other type of wildlife or endangered wildlife, right? Sasquatch would be, <laughs> it would be very rare and it would be something that would have to be protected if it was like an animal. But the way I see it nowadays, it's more of like a person, it's a being. It's something very human-like. But usually when we're talking about the government in Sasquatch, we think of that. We think of the logging industry, we think of oil and gas and how it would disrupt those things from like an economic standpoint. Lately, I've been thinking like maybe there's other reasons as to why they wouldn't want to admit that these things exist. If they are real, which I'm certain they are, why are they withholding information on it? I mean, nowadays there, there's all kinds of talk going on in the UFO field. You know, there's all the disclosure stuff that's, you know, becoming really popular in the news and on social media. They're, they're not keeping their mouths shut about that anymore. And I think it's because they can't, for one. There's so many things that are being seen in the skies by everyday people. And I think they want to jump on it now so they can get a hold of that and control it to control the story and the narrative behind the UFO subject. Um, Bigfoot is something that's in, been incredibly hard to prove, but people are, are seeing it. People have been seeing it for thousands of years. It's not something that is new or something that came to light in like the 50s or the 60s. Bigfoot has been around for thousands of years. You can see it in the First Nations lore, uh, especially in places like in British Columbia, like Harrison Hot Springs. It's part of the culture. It's part of the indigenous culture. And they've been witnessing these things for a long, long time. When you look at um, primates on Earth, you look at like chimpanzees, you know, bonobo apes, you look at gorillas. There's a lot of different kinds of primates on the planet. And human beings, we are so different than any of those. Like genetically, we're very similar. We share 99 point whatever percent of our DNA. But when you look at, you know, a chimp and a human being, we're very different. We're different. We're so far off all these other primates. Like we've created AI. We've created AI. We have pretty wild technology nowadays and no other primate's been able to do that. There's something very unique and different about us. And there's a lot of theories out there that suggest that maybe Bigfoot is something, maybe it's where human beings were supposed to be naturally. You know, maybe, um, if evolution just occurred normally as it should on planet Earth, Sasquatch would be, you know, at the top, not human beings like us. Um, some people think that maybe along the line somewhere in history, however many thousands of years ago, could be, you know, 100,000 years ago, 200,000 years ago, I don't know the numbers, but maybe somewhere along the line, there was some intervention of some kind. Now, you can think of that what you will. There's a lot of people here on the channel with varying beliefs as far as like human history goes and as, like in a religious sense. And some people believe in, you know, God and religion and all that. And some people believe in evolution and are purely science based. Um, why are we so different, though? Why are we so different? Like at one point there were many different species of upright hominids living on this planet. And where are they all? They all disappeared, they all vanished. Hum humans conquered them, supposedly. They're all gone. It makes you wonder what kind of stuff was going on uh, in the past. Maybe there is 
history that has been withheld from from our you know knowledge base maybe there's stuff they don't want us to know in that sense um you know it's very possible seeing as how all this ufo stuff is coming out like man anything is possible i can't even believe we're talking about a lot of this stuff nowadays like 10 years ago when when you would look at the ufo subject in, in the news it was still like something really taboo and, and, and crazy if you were a ufo believer or a ufo experiencer it, it was crazy and nowadays it's just all it's in the headlines like ufos are real we don't know what they are blah 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 you still got to take that with a grain of salt whatever you see in the media is still being controlled um and, and they want you to see what they want you to see like you're not getting the full truth on the news anyways so what kind of stuff would they be hiding with the sasquatch i feel like if all they were doing was covering it up just to you know protect the logging industry and oil and gas and whatever they would still find a way to do what they want anyways they always do like the government can can you know enact whatever they want to make anything happen if they want to log an area, they'll find a way to log it. I don't think the discovery of Sasquatch would stop them. Um, it's interesting though, because since I've started the channel, there's been a lot of people message me who work for the government. There's been a lot of people who work in conservation, a lot of you know, forestry workers, park rangers, people in the military, law enforcement, who have messaged me saying they've you know encountered something they've seen something and at that level like there's people in the government who believe it's a reality so as with the ufo subject i mean i think there's a lot that they know that um they're not telling us and they probably won't ever tell us they're, they have to know they have to know if if they have technology to create ufo like craft and stage something like project blue beam then they must know about Sasquatch and where where they are and what they are but that is the thing like what are they what are they there's been people also who theorized that like at one point maybe there were a bunch of experiments going on on this planet that um, may be the explanation as to why there were so many different types of hominids and the human form was the one that you know won against all the other ones and that's why we're here and maybe sasquatch are the remnants of some other hominid that was part of that and um managed to maybe escape being eliminated and are hiding out in the wilderness <laughs> there's theories like that i know it all sounds crazy but at this point it's been so long and we, we still don't know what sasquatch is it's it's nothing but theories and speculation as to what they actually are but people are seeing them. And then there's the whole supernatural side of things, the potential of them being some sort of entity and the whole indigenous aspects suggesting there's a supernatural nature to them. A lot of people believe that they might even be alien in nature, ETs of some kind, but you know, everything nowadays is just getting really weird as far as, you know, reality goes and what is actually going on talking about this stuff nowadays isn't as crazy as it was 10 years ago but i've always remained open-minded sasquatch still could just be an undiscovered primate you know i mean logically thinking that's probably what it is but there's a lot of things that don't make sense there's a lot of things that don't make sense and maybe there's different kinds maybe there's different kinds of sasquatch like beings out there it's hard for me to imagine, like, when you think of Neanderthal, they were apparently a very, like, robust hominid. They weren't, like, they didn't have the height of people like us. They were shorter, but they were built. Like, they had thicker bone structure. They were more muscled up. They had, you know, cannibalistic tendencies, and they were very savage and warlike. And you hear stories of beings like that up in the north, like in the Northwest Territories, you hear stories about cannibal-like giants that would attack 
you know, indigenous villages. They would kidnap people. They would take women. And the stories um, of that aren't that old. Like, you know, this is 1700s, 1800s. This isn't that old. So what is going on? Are there other beings out there in the wilderness hiding out in small numbers? Are they ET? Are they supernatural? Can they cloak? Can they disappear? Where, where do they go? Where do they hide? People find footprints of these things. They find what look like nests. We find these tr weird tree structures and things that just don't really make any sense. We still don't know exactly what they're doing out in the wilderness, why they're building these things. Why would a being that is supernatural have to build a nest, you know? Something isn't adding up. Something isn't adding up. Why are we so different from the other primates that we know of on this planet, that we know for a fact are real? There's something about us that is different. Is it possible in such a short amount of time for our brains to develop like that fast? To the point where we're making AI that can like create videos and pictures that are photorealistic. Like that's wild. It just seems like there's a possibility. I don't know how big of a possibility, but it seems like there's a possibility that somewhere along the line, there was some meddling in, you know, human DNA maybe. I know this is crazy. And I like to stay level-headed, but I also like to explore these theories because, you know, we've seen how weird things are lately with all this alien stuff. The, the truth may be stranger than the fiction. So that's all I'm saying. It's going to be interesting to see what happens this year in the field of Bigfoot. You know, in Sasquatch research, it's going to be interesting to see if there's any new discoveries. You know, there's footprints that are found all the time. There's stories that come in of encounters. We get new encounter reports every year. But I wonder if we're going to get some actual good physical evidence. I wonder if we're going to get a body. I wonder if we're going to get a body. And I wonder if, if we do get a body, how long it'll be before it disappears. You know, if it's something they want to keep secret. You better have a plan if you want to release it to the world. A very you know, thought out plan. The way I see it, somebody has to investigate this kind of stuff. We have to look into everything. We have to have all the bases covered. And that's something I've always said here on the channel. We all have to explore all the avenues. We can't just focus on one method of investigating. We have to have all the bases covered and somebody's got to look into the weird stuff. And I'm interested in the weird stuff. I'm going to try and look into everything. Um, but I, th I do think it's kind of odd that at this point in 2024, we still don't know what they are. We still don't have conclusive evidence, you know, at least at our level. But as the title of this video says, you know, there's stuff they want to keep hidden. There's stuff they don't want you to know, potentially. I think it's very weird how at this point in 2024, we don't know what this thing is yet if it is a flesh and blood animal or creature of some kind I, I do think with the technology that we have and the amount of cameras out there and people moving through the forest that we don't have conclusive evidence how can there be a physical being of that size that's able to maintain a population in the wilderness how is it staying hidden like that because people are seeing them in national parks and there's a lot of visitors in national parks. There is a lot of, you know, conservation stuff that goes on and government stuff that goes on in parks. How do we not have any conclusive evidence? There's got to be some weird stuff going on. Some, some fishy stuff is going on. Like, they must know. They must know. If they know about aliens and all this other weird stuff, if they... Like, they do experiments in quantum physics and, and in, like, figuring out parallel universes and all that kind of stuff. They must know about Bigfoot. If they can figure that stuff out, they must know about Bigfoot. You also hear a lot of those stories that they had recovered, but the bodies of giants in the past. You know, they've supposedly discovered burial mounds that contained the skeletons of giants. 
Uh, a notable case of this is the Lovelock Cave giants that were found, the red-haired giants. They actually have evidence of that, and they found clothing and like sandals that were made for these giants. And that's real. They were finding giant skeletons, but where are they now? People have inquired about it. They've asked the Smithsonian Museum, which is supposedly, you know, where they were stored, but they deny that they had anything like that. They don't have anything like that in their collections is what they say. Um, so there, there's weird stuff that has gone on that they have covered up. And why? It just seems like there's some sort of bizarre alternate history that we're not privy to at this moment. They're, they're holding it from us for some reason. You can only spend so much time walking around the wilderness looking for tracks and tree structures and whatnot. And so many people are doing that nowadays. And it's yielded not great results. Every now and then you get an audio recording, a vocalization, you, you get a footprint. You know, you get reports sent in. But, um... For some reason, nobody's ever been able to get up close and personal with one of these things and document it. You know, have an up close and personal encounter. It'd be crazy if you had a piece of footage that was document, like a, an incident that was documented on video where an individual was able to come face to face with one of these things and both of them are in the same frame at the same time. Wouldn't that be crazy? Yeah, I don't know. Ben from 401 Files, my good friend Ben, he is a firm believer that Bigfoot is an extraterrestrial. And he's always theorized that. And I used to just be like, dude, you're crazy. There's no way this thing could possibly be an ET. Like that, You're really going out there with that theory. But nowadays I'm like, well, with all the weird stuff I've seen in the last couple of years, maybe there is a slight possibility that it could be an ET. And you're not that crazy. So... I don't know. Let's keep open minds. Let's just see how things play out. I'm going to be getting back out into the woods, looking for evidence, hoping for that chance encounter. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Mountain Beast Mysteries.